Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to our Let's Play of We the Revolution, a new strategy game out which puts you in the shoes of a French judge during the French Revolution and sees you attempting to wield your way to the top of the French Revolutionary Pyramid in an effort to gain as much power as possible without getting yourself killed. Uh, it is, uh, I forget what day we're on, we're still in Act 1, uh, we've recently killed Roland, we were uh, killed by the aristocracy, but I recently loaded a save on our last video uh, to continue the uh, progress forward and now we're in the process of some plotting and some manipulations and this feels like one of those episodes where I start to wonder am I losing the soul of my character uh, but we'll we'll see why as we kind of uh, move through this game. With that being said, I'm going to jump back in. This was taken from a live stream from a couple of days ago, so let's just jump right back into the gameplay and uh, pick up from where we left off. So I hope you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And Robespierre. Um, 3% construction rate. I don't have any reputation to spend, so I can't really do anything at this stage. Enemy bruisers trying to silence the... The, the revolutionaries are, are currently getting, getting a little bit rowdy. Oh, this will give us a plus 2% construction of the monument if we take this territory. So we'll do that. Day 17... All right, so everybody but my family wants us to kill this fool. Revolutionaries, aristocrats, and common folk. Influence points, negative three. What's going on here? Reputation, negative 13. I'm trying to remember why. Oh my god, my reputation is terrible. My bust is being destroyed. Everybody hates me. Eek. Um... Enemy in the courthouse should be over soon, right? Enemy in the courthouse ends today, so that'll help the reputation a little bit. Bad official should end in two days. Hopefully that lets us get past this. Deal of a lifetime. You could surely sense a hint of blackmail in the man's request, but what else would you expect from a person with their back against the wall? Okay. So I'm assuming this is the guy who was we arrested. What's the case here? In the last two weeks, three female tenants of the same tenement, Bland Courtier, Alon Mash, and Eugene Marie, died. Their tragic demise has been preceded by the same dreadful symptoms, vomiting, blood, convulsion, migraines, and severe muscle pain. The neighbors complain that they have suffered several sleepless nights because of their screams. The victims' husbands have, after the fact, found out that their wives were clients of a certain Marie-Laure Tabult, who lives across the street. At home, they found the same powderless cases, lip rue jars, and other suspicious cosmetic products purchased from Tabult. Jean Mace brought all of them from the National Guard, uh, along with the denunciation of the widow, the Boult, who accused of witchcraft. Witchcraft? That seems a little fanciful. In the neighborhood, she is known as a resourceful elderly lady. At the age of 74, she still makes a living by selling blacking rouge and other mixtures supposed to enhance female beauty. Although she's rarely left her house, her clients recommend her products to their friends who then visit her. The elderly woman did not resist when three soldiers arrested her. As she is visibly impaired, she did not realize that they were taking her to the National Guard, and it was only when the men walked her from the apartment that she stopped asking about their about the products she thought they wanted to buy. Soldiers informed the investigating officials about the suspicious jars filled with blood and bones, and they saw on the shelves. She's not a witch. Come on, guys. Um, a citizen who is obedient to the revolution, I feel obliged to report that Thobo, a widow living in our neighborhood, practices harmful witchcraft. Three hardworking citizens of Paris have died in agony due to that woman's magic and po- She's not a witch. Oh, come on, guys. I do not- I'm not one to believe in witchcraft, however, those deaths do not strike me as natural. Are you marie Lo Thobo? Yes. Do you live alone? My husband never returned from the war in 1762. The former king sent him to Portugal, where were you somehow involved in the deaths of Blanc Courtier, Abelie Mace, and Eugene Marais? I would never hurt such good woman. Yet, they were all your clients, and they are all dead. She's poisoning them. She's poisoning us all. 
That's a little bit uh, hysterical. She's poisoning him! She's poisoning us all! Thanks for the follow, Zach. She's poisoning us all! Oh boy. Um, okay, so I don't think she's poisoning everybody, but I do think she probably should be killed, or at least imprisoned, because she's killing people through... Um, to me, it seems more like an issue of uh, manslaughter. You know, her, her products are, are killing people rather than, uh, you know, helping people. Uh, we can get two mistakes, uh, six questions to reveal, one trap. Uh, a denunciation. Is that a testimony? Yeah, okay. Poor eyesight? I haven't even gotten to poor eyesight. Where does it say there's poor eyesight? I guess it'd be extenuating circumstances. Uh, popular product. Method. Witchcraft. I mean, that's the accusation. Cause that feels like a trap. Um, cosmetics. That'd be the method. Long, painful death. The victim. That was a trap, really? Uh, neighbors. The neighbors aren't the method. They could be the victims. Cosmetics, the victim, or witchcraft, the method. All right. I was going to say, witchcraft felt like a trap. So there's our first really good trial in a while, guys, where we got all the questions unlocked. So we're just going to ask all the death questions. How do you prepare your products? Oh, you know, one way or another, my grandmother left me a thick notebook full of recipes. Sadly, I could not read and less and less. Oh, sadly, I could read less and less. Not a single word in 15 years, I think. My eyes aren't what they used to be. And yet you're making products. How are you mixing your products? I remember everything that's written there. I don't need to read it. Need I repeat myself? How exactly are you preparing your cosmetics? I will tell you as if I were at confession. What? The face powder is no secret. You have to mix white lead with chalk. Lead is good. It purifies. Yes, lead. Put that on your face. Everybody put lead on your face. Lead is good. It purifies. Hmm. You need, to strength you need the strength to crush it, but I'm still able to do it. I'm used to it. I've been working my whole life. To the point, please. Lip Rue is a mixture of wax and carmine with a dash of spirit. Oh, how beautiful the red lips of our, are of women who use it. The pig, how would you know? You can't see them. The pigment isn't easy to make, but I have my methods. You can cook a lizard or use the blood of a hedgehog, rat, or bat. You can also add a bit of sulfur to make the color more durable. Bat blood and sulfur? She pronounces devilish potions, not cosmetics. All right. The soldiers reported that you did not recognize their uniforms. Dear, I can barely see you right now. How do you prepare your cosmetics if you cannot see what you're doing? I know the recipes by heart and recognize the ingredients by touch. And at no point have your clients complained that the powder paint or the powder painted their faces red? If anything like that happened, they'd simply go some to someone else and make their money with them. What if you added too much of one of the ingredients? I suppose I sometimes pour more than I should, but I don't mind. I'm not a greedy person. I don't stint my dear ladies even uh, though the ingredients aren't cheap. Yeah, but if you're putting lead on people's face... Wow, the jury really swung real fast to murder. The husbands of the deceased accuse you of witchcraft, is that true? I can make the sign of the cross before you right now, dear. Well, we we do we will do without superstitions. Look at the walls of my apartment right over the table with my mortars and pestles hangs across. During the reign of Louis, watch your words, citizen. I'll be as quiet as a church mouse. Please answer our questions. Are you a monarchist, citizen? To that stinking kin king sent my dear husband to war and his death, but they're still sending men to war. They deserve each other. The crone doesn't know what she's talking about. Honestly, do we even need to call in the witnesses? What did you sell to citizens, courtier, Merce, and motorists? A bit of this and that. Who would remember uh, the details? <laughs> if you will be freed by this court, you had better start remembering. I'm sure they bought powder. Every woman buys powder to be as pale as a countess. Many women bought it. Over the years, probably hundreds, I've nearly rubbed my hands to the bone mixing it. Dear God, we're lucky they caught her. All right. The uh, crowd is irritated. We've already gotten the jury opinion to death. Everybody wants to kill him except the family. I, I mean, no, she's not kind of revolutionary. They're buying powder, I guess. 
She was calm. She did not recognize the uniforms. According to the witnesses, what was the cause of his wife's death? Witchcraft, right? Or was it poisoning? I think it was poisoning. Witchcraft? Well, I haven't asked the witness. I guess I'll call in the witness. Just I want to make sure I get this question right. Um, yes, I even gave her money to do so. She used to say that without the powder, she felt like a peasant and was too embarrassed to leave her house. On what grounds do you believe your wife was the victim of witchcraft? Our wives were healthy. They all gave birth without the help of a doctor. They were strong, hardworking. It must have been witchcraft. So you do not complain about their health. You know, she had her better and worse days like we all do, but she never complained about anything serious. So the troubles first started when she applied the cosmetics. What I do know is when she eat focus. Yes, that's how it went. I remember it now. It all started when she bought those flasks. Could you elaborate on the devilry that you referred to? Had your wife been complaining about pain for a long time? No, that feels like a trick question where it'd go down a, a, a let them go. You could smell sulfur in the backyard. Everyone will tell you that. A child saw how the widow Thabu armed and with a stick chased rats in the cellar and drained them of blood. I didn't. I work at the factory all day building vehicles. It's hard work. What if I don't fix part well and the vehicle collapses? My neighbor saw everything, though. All right. So, sounds to me like it's witchcraft. We'll go ahead and sign that. Verdict form. Death penalty. Acquittal would make... I mean, there's no reason to acquit them unless it's a family thing where we don't want to piss our family off. I guess that becomes a thing later in the game is what I've been hinted at. But I'm sorry, family. This is... We've got to kill them. Oh, God. More details, side side missions here. One of Albine Maurice used a thick stick to beat Blast Sailor, who was working at her fish stall. According to the witness, the ruthless blows were punishment for dropping a basket of goods. I don't want to send her to... I don't want to kill her. We've learned that an informant and the son-in-law of Jean has been appointed to lead the Department of Supply at the Eco Military. Before he met the General's daughter boat, used to help his patients at the tavern. Okay. Why would this be? Wait, what? General Everard Grandjean has been appointed to lead the Department of Supply. So it's just an accus... Okay, why would we... Why would we kill the person? Just because... I don't understand why we would have killed that person. 18-year-old Sylvan Books and his younger brother Fabian used to spend evenings looking for well-dressed women whom they would drag into the dark alleys, beat up, and rob. They mostly stole jewelry. We know of at least nine victims. Yeah, they deserve to die. I mean, maybe not die, but like if it's if those are our only two options. Just dragging people into alleys and beating them up. All right, for causing terrible, painful death of three innocent women, I hereby sentence Marie Lou Thubit to the guillotine. We come here to see your head rolling down the pavement, they shouted, covering her in her own potions and letting her die in pain. All right, so good job on the report. Good results. Jury should like us more next turn. We should get some of our reputation back. We've got to go to the actual thing. Well, J Street, I would not use lead in my stuff. The crowd is irritated. Speak to the common folk. The crime. Aggression. The defendant. Maybe humility. Revolution. Aggression. Strong. Weak. Very weak. Attached. So I think that's going to be humility, maybe. Or maybe manipulation. Well, we're going to probably go manipulation, manipulation, aggression would be my guess then. We'll see how the first one goes. Alright, so it looks like manipulation's a good one. So 
So the crowd is not upset. We get a negative one. I See, that's that feels a little cheap. I got three correct answers. Where are you taking me, boys? She doesn't even know me. She's being led to the guillotine. Oh, pull the rope. End her misery. I didn't hang a blind old lady, Cannibal. I executed a blind old... I cut a blind old lady's head off. She probably didn't even know the blade was coming. What? Oh, boy. Oh, wait. This is our... The intrigue, right? Oh, boy. Well, David, or whoever this person is. That's not... There are per... So... He's uncovered the scandal. Now what? They are lovers, yes. The mayor's daughter and Beatrice. Are you sure? More than sure, Alexei. Do you really think that attacking his family is a good idea? Showing the scrap of my vulnerable underbelly and some shiny coins were more than enough to make him believe in a friendship. He is like an animal being led to the slaughter. I will slaughter my friend. Oh God. And he will not even notice the knife. This is getting pretty fucking dark. Our character is turning evil. Designed with class. Congratulations. Thank you. I entrusted the decor to Jacques-Louis David's care. He is an artiste. Yes. I heard that you were friends and political allies. Shall we play? A game of dice. Defeat your opponent by achieving the best score possible. Losing may damage your reputation. What? The game lasts five turns and the player with the highest total score wins. Roll six dice and hope for the best. Buying a round. Give your opponent drunk to reduce their chances of winning. Drinking also lets you re-roll more dice. Two hundred. Rerolling. If you're unhappy with your score, you can re-roll the dice three times during the whole game. Gain points for dice. The judge can surely play, yes? Yeah, get him drunk. Get him drunk and let us win. Opponent's turn. Hey, we won that turn. 240. Wow. Oh, he can re-roll. Oh, he can choose to re-roll only certain things? Huh. What's that? 150. So choose dice to re-roll. I don't actually want to re-roll. That's all. Holy shit, he kicked my ass that turn. I think we're still winning. Alright, let's roll again. We'll roll those four dice again. You think this bad luck will turn around? Jesus, that didn't get much better. Holy shit! I got you drunk, man. Do worse. Please be better than threes. No! Oh my god, how am I supposed to beat this fucker? <sighs> I lose. That's not even close. How did he get sixes, like, every time? I see that you will do anything to gain my trust. Even lose intentionally. What? I didn't lose intentionally, you jackass. 
I'm eating all alone. Here, all alone. There's no one here beside me. My problems have all gone. Uh, story event. I can't change the action. Okay, so my wife is very close to... Oh, fuck. Evening with the mayor hurts my relations with my family even more. You know, honey, please don't have me killed. Wow, my wife hates me. Maybe he is using lead dice. Uh, what's this? Okay, so the crowd is getting... There's fervor in our area. Lower the crowd's fervor. All right, let's unlock this section. Mm, I guess we'll just protect our zone. Meanwhile, in the intrigue, so the meeting in the gambling den was a success, following Posh was a success, meeting in the mayor was a success, and David managing the brothel was a success. So we're up to most, I think we have all successes so far. That's two, four. So arresting Bertish Caron. Henriot's guards will waylay the mayor's daughter and her lover at their usual rendezvous. Beatrice will be arrested and wait for what happens next in isolation. We will no longer have any use for Maria. Well, the options are Henriot will arrest her before she leaves to see Marie politely and respecting her rights. Uh, Henriot will make a show. Let every neighbor know that we want to arrest the traitor. Espionage. Tell Henriot to arrest her in an alley on her way to meet Marie, quietly and discreetly. I don't know why we would, like, wouldn't we want to make a show of it? Isn't that the whole point? Or is... Hmm. Is it better to do it in quiet? And then it, maybe it gives us like an intrigue that we can go with? We only have a 40% chance of success this way. Four should probably give us a better chance. We'll see how this plays out. Meanwhile, if we go to the statue, we're up to 9%. We're up to 2%, so we'll be 11% tomorrow when the people come. Can't spend more time with my family. Don't have enough stuff to do. So I guess we'll end the day. Cannibal, no. All right. Today we have several minor cases to deal with. What's the news? You do not meet your obligation to finish the construction of the statue in time. Paris is disappointed. How would I have completed it already? That's not even possible. Papa, pa pa Lee and Vite. Okay. Our bad official penalty is almost gone. But we lose reputation because of our unfinished construction on the thing. All right, what are the uh what are the cases here? Lucille Picard. The widow of a cobbler told the creditor who came to collect money in the past they'd skin a person, but at least they wouldn't chop everyone else's head off. When the man asked if she preferred the days of yore, she allegedly nodded. Death to the traitor, the counter-revolutionary. René Galpon, a municipal official, demanded a bribe from a flour merchant for a good place at the market. When the merchant's daughter came with the money, Galp locked the door and forced him on her. What? That's rape. Rape. Rape is bad. That's death. I know you revolutionaries may not be happy with me, but that's death. Paul de Besson is a snake oil salesman. He was caught selling a concoction made of human bones, promising that it would cure horse... Hor... Hor... Horiness? Not only was the pan pan panacea ineffective against the loss of pigmentation, but also led to many cases of sickness, pain, and vomiting. Death to you too, sir. 
Edward Abley, a tavern keeper, has been accused of aiding dried conifer needles to his sausages. To the truth came out when one of his clients noticed that they tasted strange. The enraged innkeeper tugged him off his stool and threw him out of the building. Yeah, that's death. Cedric Comper, a 12-year-old, knocked over a woman passing by, running, ruining her dress. The boy found it very entertaining. He was then chased by the victim's husband. When caught, he tried to blame his younger friend, who, according to the witness, had nothing to do with the incident. I'm not sending a 12-year-old to the, to, the, to the guillotine. Three young ar- aristocrats, Mal Duret, Gilbel Bosalt, and Luc Labas, also almost drank themselves into a stupor. Being in a state of intoxication, they dug up a fresh grave, dragged out a corpse of a convent, threw him on a cart, and drove around Paris yelling, Look, he's lost his head for the revolution. Uh, I'm not going to kill them for being drunk and stupid. So, we've killed four people. We didn't kill a 12-year-old, and we didn't kill some drunk idiots. The rest die. Four more people lose their heads to the butcher of Paris. I'm a cannibal. I'm not killing the 12-year-old to set an example. Even though least powerful deserves justice. Okay, so it looks like Tinville's happy. Everybody's a little bit happier, except the revolutionaries, as a result of this turn. So that's a pretty good turn. At least in terms of managing relations with the different groups. Gambling Den or to the map? I'll go to the map. I don't want to go to the Gambling Den quite yet. Uh, riots ended there. Our spy unlocked this region. Whoa. Whoa! It's an assault! Oh, come on. My bruiser? You knocked out my bruiser? What am I going to do now? All right, my diplomat's going to go here, and I guess we're going to have this big battle out here. Two enemy diplomats, our spy, and our diplomat. My bruiser's gone. I'm not going to go fight an enemy bruiser. He'll probably beat me, even if I have the advantage. Meanwhile, we're at 11% on the statue. Spend more time with my family. I need to make them happy. Intrigue. We failed to arrest Patrice Caron. So we can't have a perfect intrigue anymore. We need one more to have a successful intrigue, though. We must convince her to sign a document stating that she's an Austrian spy, jean Nicolas Posch was her source, and that she reached him through his daughter. God damn it. I should have just gone in with force. Oh, God. Where the hell have I been kidnapped and tied to a chair? There are many whores in Paris willing to play that game with you. So, Judge, will you answer me? Or do you want me to watch you playing with yourself, you dirty old man? Nothing? Hmm. I've heard that someone's been trying to kill you. And now you've been promoted to the elite group of murderers, the princes of the guillotine. Congratulations. I never asked to be admitted to the club, but I did not get there accidentally either. Yes, I can imagine you need a special something for that. Ah, that sparkle of masculine madness in your eyes. You have to sign this document. Is that a story? Any interesting turning points? Treason and spying for Austria, carried out by you and the mayor of Paris. Such an exaggerated drama. It won't sell. Oh, God. We have to torture her? Come on, man. What do we need? Why she should sign this rationally. Why she should sign threat. What will she get out of it? France will not accept the union of two women. Well, that's probably a manipulation, I would guess. What will she get out of it? Maybe carelessness or manipula- maybe manipulation. Why she should sign it. Threat. She's not going to listen to a threat, so I think it's more humility. Why she should sign it rationally. Carelessness. What do we need? 
humility. Very weak, 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 strong, strong. Okay, so manipulation out of, okay, so. Withdrawn. Well, what would be a good thing for withdrawn? Maybe carelessness? Oh boy, what do we need? In this document, I will prove you are a corrupt whore and you will find I am quite the writer. Listen to me. Your health is at stake here. Perhaps my irony wasn't clear enough. I have no intention of signing any documents, so you can stuff that somewhere uncomfortable. You can't force me. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. Your freedom is only a signature away. Why not do it? The mayor will feel the consequences of the document considerably more than you. Okay, so not humility. Why she should sign a threat? I Do guess you aggression? See those guards? I could leave you alone with them for an hour. Most probably, they will rape you, maybe beat you up. Is that what must happen to make the scales fall from your eyes? Okay. Leave Perry. Escape the storm that will otherwise not spare you and is indifferent to your feelings for Marie. America is a good place, and the shadow of the revolution will not reach you there. Sign this document. Escape while you still can. Do I look like someone who is terribly concerned about their own life or other people's opinions? I don't know. France will not accept the union of two women. That's more of a humility will thing, right? Give you and Marie the freedom that you need. You can shout and rebel against it all you wish, but you will pay for this with your life. And on the guillotine, you will only hear the crowd shouting, freak. You are all the same. Damn it! That little bit of freedom I have left will be enough to oppose anything you want from me. Well, we failed. Failure. Oh God. Well, folks, we have two options. We can torture or pay for the escape using family savings. Wait, I thought our capturing her failed. I'm confused. Does anybody else have any opinions other than Cannibal who just wants me to torture? I'm, you know, the good thing about the guillotine in theory is that it's quick and painless. I'm not big on torture. Zach, um, we're, we just discovered there's an affair between the daughter of a political rival of ours and uh, another woman. Uh, so they're lesbians. It is France. It is the 1700s during the French Revolution. We haven't been able to convince her to sign a document that admits that she's a spy of Austria as a way to justify our arrest of her. So we now have an option to either pay to allow her to escape, or we can torture her to force her to sign the document. I don't feel like cruelty is necessarily the best route to go, and it probably will turn my character dark. On the flip side, I don't know what paying for the escape with family savings will do. I don't really know. It doesn't seem to tell me. I just have to pick not knowing. I'm going to pay for the escape, mainly because I'm trying to appease my family, and I think that'll give us a better... You should have thought about that from the start. You should not. You should have known people like her do not believe in promises. They have seen too many of them broken in their lives. They are not afraid of threats because they have long learned to live in constant fear and anxiety. Money, that is the only thing Beatrice believes in. Money and a new life. She signed the testimony. You got what you wanted. Now, what will your family say when they notice the family budget has been depleted? Oh, it was out of my personal coffers. Eek. All right, so failure. We must sign to convince her a document saying she and an Austrian spy. Action completed. Meeting with Danton. Even with the document signed by Beatrice, we still do not have a complete hold on the mayor. He could ask his silver tongue friend Danton for help. Posh needs to be entirely alone. If we do not convince Danton to take our side, we will lose. All right. Hey, Danton, what's up? 
I'm sure that you are going to explain why you've called for me at such a late hour, especially when it's pouring outside. I know about your alliance with Posh. Posh is collaborating with an enemy state. Posh may be involved in the assassination attempt of a judge. The judge of the tribunal is a safer bet. Strong, perfect, weak, weak. All right, so we know this is strong. We know this is strong. All right, let's try this. Uh, aggression. I know about your alliance with Posh. Do not anger me further by trying to deny it. Overestimating the value of the knowledge, are you now interested in political alliances between deputies? Collaborating with an enemy state. I'm listening. Ooh, yes, we should be good now. We know this is perfect, so this will get him way up there. This is strong, so this will get him up here. So intrigued, you are right, my acquaintance with Posh is quite the burden. I will gladly do as you please. I need to know what you and Posh were plotting. I was re regarding the point de la Révolution. The bridge the builders are not able to finish. It has not been finished because the mayor and I have been obstructing the process. Interesting. Success. All right, so we're going to have another successful intrigue now, folks. Danton told me everything. The construction of that bridge was Robespierre's idea. He wanted to gain the people's support, but there was more to it. His success would weaken the position of Danton, who was secretly against it. So Danton made a deal with the mayor of Paris. The latter was responsible for delaying the construction. Posh must have the documents that prove Danton's guilt, but he will not bring them to me if I do not persuade him. There is only one thing I can do. Okay. The next action will be formed the next day. So we know we've at least had a successful intrigue because we've done four successful intrigues, which gives us into the success category. We can't have a fail or a perfect intrigue though, because we have failed twice. Okay. Randomly choose one family special action. I've already done that. So I think that'll end. Day 19 of Liberté. Great success. Francois Hunright. Good morning, Citizen Bosch has asked me to see you urgently. He must know. That remains to be seen. Lead the way. Danton, you traitor! How could you? Hello. Fidel, thank you for coming at such a short notice. Danton betrayed me. Danton, we used to be allies. I asked for his help, but he never came. You did. We are friends, Sean. I must destroy him. Make him pay. We must. How did you get in here? What proof do you have of Danton's misdeeds? Where is the proof? You can trust me. Where is the proof? All right, so this is perfect. This is strong. Very weak. And very weak. So let's see how we do here. I don't understand. What did they accuse you of? You, of all people, when everyone knows that Paris blooms under your direction. Apparently, I betrayed France. I am not a saint, I know, but treason? And who is accusing me? That political whore, Danton? I do not know for sure, but I can feel that he was involved in those accusations. OK. 
Okay, what proof does Danton? If that sly serpent is responsible for your troubles. You must act now. You cannot wait for tomorrow's trial. Do you have any proof of Danton's misdeeds that could help? Are you planning to betray me too? You cannot. Why does that hurt? No. Why is that a bad argument? I hoped that it would be possible to find a true friend in this city. Once the trial begins, your fate will be set. If there is any evidence for treason, the accused cannot be saved. I can, however, make sure that evidence will never be disclosed. But to do that, I need to have proof of Danton's misdeeds. That is the only way. Where do you keep it, Jean? Uh, you can trust me. Nobody I guess manipulation would be a good one. To Danton, knowing that he can fabricate evidence of treason. They are scared. I, however, am willing to stick my neck out because I believe in the long-term benefits of our friendship. That alone should convince you. I'm not sure that I deserve your friendship. I have done something despicable. <laughs> you me to it. Tricked him! You are my only hope. Help me, Obi, historical gamer. You are my only hope. Proof against Danton is hidden in a safe in my office. Ask my assistant for the key. Oh, good news. Good info. Thank you, Bosch. I know what to do with it. Shouldn't I have one more guess? I sure hopeful. Thank you. I misjudged you, Fidel. You are a true friend. He's still doubtful. Doesn't sound doubtful. Of course. Of course. That was a success, apparently. Even though he's still doubtful of us. Thank you, Jean. Jean Marciniak, right? No? Alright, uh, news. The deal of a lifetime. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Blast Roy took his life in prison. Poor thing, he cut his wrist. Somehow it seems there will be no trial. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Uh, meanwhile, everybody wants me to let this person go, except for the common folk. For some reason, the common folk still like me more than everybody else. My reputation is still pretty shitty. Um, bad official ends today. That big penalty will go away. Seeing just lying also goes away today. The failure to construct. We don't even know when that'll go away. We've killed 15 people. No, I do not feel like a Sith yet. All right, that should do it for this episode. Uh, a little bit longer one, looking at We the Revolution, a new strategy game out by Polly Slash and We er, and uh, Clay Bader. It's an interesting game where we're playing as a judge of the French Revolution, and we're also plotting and scheming our way to the top of the French Revolutionary Pyramid. This episode was a good one, I think. Uh, we had a nice little bit of fun manipulating our fake friend and uh, also luring Danton to our side. So an interesting day. We'll see how things play out in our next episode until our next episode. Hopefully we can get our reputation up too. Our a bust is not doing so well. But uh, until our next episode, uh, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying uh, thank you for watching and until next time. I'm out.